Hello folks, this is your friend Flat Cap Piper. I uh, don't have a flat cap on or I don't have a pipe on today but just wanted to say hi. I haven't been on for a long time and I thought I would uh, come on and say hi for you guys a little bit. I'm actually uh, at work. Um, uh, I do home health so I see patients in the homes and during this time you know I'm um, I'm still working. Um, I also wanted to take this time to, um, I've been looking at the media and um, I don't watch uh, too much television, but the little bit that I see when I go to their homes, I'm surprised by all the misinformation that we're getting um, during this time um, of people being isolated and with the virus. So. I wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a um, facts versus myths about what's currently going on and hopefully um, if you guys have any questions like before I'm pretty good about answering if you write on the comments below uh, none of what I say of course is gonna take away from what your doctors uh, tell you so of course um, follow medical advice and if you have special conditions you, you, you need to abide by those um, especially if you have any chronic conditions or multiple um, medical factors you need to look at those and take care of yourself hey guys it's me again um, I was interrupted so that, that was yesterday this is actually the next day but I'll put it all together into one video I think where I was talking I was uh, gonna talk about some of the facts and the myths of the coronavirus uh, since there's so much misinformation and I can hopefully give you an unbiased opinion. I have no political ties with any of the stuff that I'm going to tell you. And like I said, if you guys have questions, you can ask me. So, so what is this coronavirus, first of all? Uh, we'll talk about that too. We'll talk about um, you know how you get it and how you can kind of avoid getting it. And number three, you know what to do if, if you were to get sick. Um, so the coronavirus is really um, just an upper respiratory virus, uh, very similar to the flu. The only difference being that because it's new, that's what they call a novel coronavirus, our bodies uh, have never encountered it before, so we don't know how to deal with it. And for somebody that has uh, fragile health or has other health issues, um, they'll develop pneumonia and you know that will develop complications from that from somebody that's healthy and has a good immune system you just run through the course like you would with any flu and drink fluids and you know take vitamin C and take care of yourself and in a few days you know you feel much better um, so again it's not one of these scary virus like you see in some of those movies that if you just get it you die um, it's really um, as it runs its course if it gets complicated into pneumonia and you already have other things going on you know like um, any type of heart disease any type already problems breathing or or um, COPD diabetic complications high blood pressure if you have other medical things then it makes it harder for you to deal with this in your body and you know you have to be hospitalized and be on ventilators if if your body just cannot um, do it on its own so so how do you get it um, is it's very simple uh, it's, it's little droplets uh, what they call little particles the virus is actually not alive uh, one it's, mile. it's Turn capsule right on into, Parkway. Um, things that have moisture around it so if that moisture gets broken down then then the virus destabilizes and it cannot affect you so that's why they they, they tell you that you have to wash your hands um, it's, it's very easy to kill um, with Lysol and with washing your hands and actually just being in porous surfaces like Turn clothes right on um, Parkway. it destabilizes very quickly uh, on surfaces that are not porous like metal it can stay there longer it can stay there for days um, and if you were to touch it you don't get the virus right away you could actually have the virus in your hands 
And as long as you don't touch your eyes, your nose, or your mouth, you, you won't get mile. infected. Turn left you could be there Diamond for days and nothing happens. Your skin acts as a barrier. The problem is, is that we touch our eyes and our nose and our mouth so much that that's why they want us to wash our hands right away. The more you wash your hands, the more you prevent from touching things that you should not be touching. Um, but our skin is our barrier. Um, they also talk about somebody, of course, if they're close enough to you and they sneeze, if they spit, you know, when they talk, they cough, anything that can shoot some of those little particles very close and they'll get into your eyes, uh, nose or mouth, then that's another way, of course, for you to get Turn infected. Left on Diamond Center uh, Boulevard. If you remember nothing else, um, just remember that if you act like you actually have the virus yourself and you're protecting other people from getting it, then um, everybody would, would do great. Um, I have a mask, you know, that if I'm gonna be close to somebody, I put it on, just like if I had the virus. Um, I wash my hands many, many, many times. If I go in public, I make sure that after I get done touching all that, I wash them again before getting, you know, touching the things in the car. And of course, keeping in mind not to touch my eyes, my nose, or my mouth, because that's that's how it go, goes into your body. It doesn't go through your skin. That's of today, as of the last day of March, that's the information we have on that. Um, so wash your hands and- uh, Arriving at Office Fort Myers on the road. Protect run. yourself like, like you had the virus, that way you don't give it to anybody else. So the last thing is what to do if you actually get symptoms like this. Um, again, if you're a healthy person with no other uh, medic, you know, complications, then just like you would with any flu, if you have just a minor cough and, and a minor fever, um, just drink fluids and take the pills that you take for, for body aches and, and, uh, and headaches, and it, it will run its course pretty much. If you're somebody that has other medical conditions or you're elderly or you have a poor immune system, just like you would with the, with the flu or if you're developing pneumonia, then you have to talk to your doctor and, and, uh, and, and tell them what's going on so that they can take care of you as soon as possible. Um, whether you were diagnosed with the virus or not, whether you take the tests or not, they will treat you the same way. They're, they're just trying to avoid you getting bad pneumonia and complications from it. Um, definitely not something to be super scared about. Something just to be careful about. It's really a mild virus. It just it just very, it spreads very quickly, and because a lot of people don't show symptoms, you could have it and then give it to other people without knowing. Um, that's something they're still studying. Uh, whether some people are actually true asymptomatic, meaning they have shows no symptoms whatsoever or that they show such minor symptoms that you don't, don't even know that you have it, like a little bit of coughing and maybe a little bit of a temperature and you don't notice you have it and that way um, it runs its course on you without you even thinking that you actually had the virus. Um, but anyway, no need to buy a thousand rolls of paper. There's no diarrhea in this virus. I don't know where that came from, buying so much toilet paper and all these other crazy things that are going on. Uh, pretty much wash your hands and if you're gonna be close to somebody, you know, either wear a mask or just don't be that close that you could spread it through your um, sneezing, coughing, spitting, or if you know somebody sneezes on their hand or and coughs and then touch things, you know, then somebody else touches it, then you can get it that way. So definitely if you wash your hands, if nothing else, you have a very um, low incidence of getting this virus. I hope to my next video to be something having to do with pipes. I really miss uh, doing my my pipes around the world series and some of the room notes. So hopefully I can be back. Uh, there were a lot of things that happened in my life, and I'm in in Fort Myers now. I'm not in Alabama anymore, and uh, so I am um, I'm, I'm planning to be back. Don't know when. Can promise you when, but hopefully. It'll be soon, I miss all of you guys. I miss the YTPC and you know who you are. Um, I, I miss all of you. I still watch your videos and I may not be commenting on them, but I'm watching you guys and I, uh, 
appreciate this community. It's been an amazing community. Take care of yourself. Uh, you can drop a line and say hi, and I'll say hi back. And uh, just be careful, guys. All right. See you in the next one. Bye.